Alright folks, welcome to Extreme Rules. This will be my first pay-per-view done in WWE Universe mode, as well as uh, first pay-per-view for the my videos for WWE 13. So, we're going to uh, start things off with a Fatal 4-Way uh, for the newcomers. This will be their first uh, experience, I guess you could say, on a pay-per-view do something a little different. So, and I've got some new people uh, getting ready to debut. So, it's going to be Ethan Hacker. Uh, will he come up? Alright. So, that's my Sting guy, almost, kind of. He'll be taking on... Akane. Who will be taking on... Antoine Adams, as soon as it loads, as well as Aaron Alexander. This is going to be elimination style. And let's see. Match creator? Oh, it's not going to save. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do this match, and then I'll have to come back up and set up the rest of the card. Unfortunately, it's weird like that. Alright, so we're going to do pinfall and give up KO on, uh, DQ on, rope break on, elimination on, time limit, we'll do 20 minute time limit. Uh, Alright, and let's play. And we'll come back and set up the rest of the matches in just a minute, because... Uh, if you want it to, it, the match options will not save, therefore it wouldn't be elimination style, it would change, and all that. So, dream rules, Ethan Hacker versus Antoine Adams versus Akane versus Andrew, Aaron Alexander. Alright, any, any day now. Hopefully this didn't freeze up. Okay, good. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Alright, here we go. I'm going to leave the entrances on. And this is Ethan Hacker. <clears throat> He's kind of like a badass, almost like a Sting character type thing. Alright, so here's his entrance. It's, it's decent. I worked on his moves, I don't know, for maybe two hours trying to set up everything completely 100% how I liked it. And I don't know, a lot of these guys I'm not really enjoying how they're turning out, but we'll see. Alright, so that's him. And then we've seen Antoine Adams and Akane and Aaron Alexander. So we'll just skip those. And here's Akane. We're skipping that. And the next thing is going to be Antoine Adams. But we're going to skip that too. As soon as it lets us. There we go. And Aaron Alexander's next, my high flyer of the group, who unfortunately doesn't have very many high flying moves, because I don't know why, but he doesn't. He's more of a striker. And that's Aaron Alexander. Okay, that's a good enough for him. Alright, so here we go. Elimination style. Fatal 4-Way. Oh crap, they're starting off. What the hell? I got Antoine Adams and Aaron Alexander running towards me. Alright, 
All right, so let's see what we got here. Huge snap suplex there. Irish whip into the corner there. Stop focusing on them. Drop kick in the corner. And a uh, runny knee strike, which ends up looking like he's taking his dick in his face. That's weird. The hell? Can you. What the hell's going on? Okay. Thanks for freaking out on me, camera. Archangel. It's Archangel, you weirdo. Charge me. Come on, charge me. I dare you to. I mean, it's not Garrus from Mass Effect or something. Venom! Nope. Let's see what we got here. Another snap suplex? Yeah. There's only so many moves you can do, unfortunately. It sucks, but... Another. This is exactly what happened with Dallas Baker. Every single move glitched. Let's try it. This. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work, did it, buddy? Big side suplex there. Dino you know Bravo would be proud. One count. All right. Irish whip into the Kona. Whoa, that weird is weird. Can I can I get my guy, please? Thank you. No. Anybody want to help me with the tag move? No, guess not. Uh, another suplex, apparently. Yep. Antoine's fucking people up over there. Huge swinging neck breaker there. Big slap to the chest. And a reverse DDT. Whoa. Big clothesline. Irish whip. Drop kick again. Ooh, boot, boot to the gut. Too late. Reversed. Ha-ha. And a flying elbow. Nip up. Oh, crap. He reversed into a swinging neck breaker. Not bad. And let's see what we got here. Another suplex. See, yep. See, I don't like this. I'm gonna have to go back and tweak some stuff. Not enough. Uh. Uh oh. It was like a arm breaker. Well, I guess it was an arm breaker. And swinging, or excuse me, twisting. Of course, you know he's going to have the sharpshooter since he's almost like a sting uh, rip-off. Uh, he's going to break it. He's going to break it. He's going to break it. He broke it. Uh-oh. And I go flying. Why the camera shake there? This is ECW. Hey, what are you doing? I'm telling you to go that way. Get your ass out of here. Wait, I said for there to be count outs. What do you mean there's no count outs, Lawler? There better be a count out. Through the table? No. Damn, I thought he was going to suplex him through the table. Uh oh. This doesn't appear to be good. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. If I can get him in that ring, I might actually get a pin on his ass. Who's Archangel? It's Archangel, you weirdo. His name is the Dominator? I don't remember doing that, but okay. Oh, that was pretty cool. Excuse me while I do that again. Oh, but I missed. That sucks. Now my ribs are all hurty and stuff. And let's see. Go with that arm breaker again. I, yeah, I gotta go back and re redo some of his moves. I'm not happy with it. 
What have we got here? And gut musta. Gut musta. Will somebody freaking eliminate somebody? Goodness. Already been going five minutes. Maybe six. And uh, Hangman's neck breaker. One, two, three. Akane has been eliminated. Irish whooping. I'm just going to let these guys fight it out over here. See what happens. Uh oh. That's not going to be good for him. Nope. Sure wasn't. Hey, hey, hey. No, you, you worry about it over there. I'm just smoking around the ring. Minding my own business. Until I want to do this. Ha <laughs> ha! You jerk. I'm going to steal your pin. Oh, maybe not because he's up. What the fuck? Oh, this game. This game. I tell you what. Come on. What are you doing? Do something. I'll do it. There. Want to do it? Hey, are you frozen? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, there you go. Does he have like a... Where he, he turns into a statue or something? Hey, stop getting frozen. Okay, you know what? I'm eliminating you. Because something's wrong with you and I don't want you freaking up my game like you did. Like Brodus does every time I use Brodus. Oh, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to mess his world up. Get out of here. Huge Hurricanrana. And huge. Two. Oh, only a one off the splash. That sucks. All right, that already got him. Maybe one. No, a one count. Go ahead, Aaron. You can get him. Nope, one count on him too. Hey, you jerk! You could have teamed up with me. Now pin him. Oh, he died off that thing. Get the hell out of here. Come on, do something. Waiting for these guys to do something. AI's not. What, what in the world is going on here? I don't think I did a. Yeah, he doesn't have high flying moves. That's fine. What the hell was that? Holy shit. This, mm, this match has been craptastic. Headbutt. For some reason, there's no count outs, even though I said for it. Oh, dear. He's going, too. I guess the guardrail. Oh! What the hell was that? Hit him in his shins? This game. Holy crap. Why do they keep... And who runs that far across a ramp? Somebody get in the damn ring. When they get in, I'm going to close on the fuck out of them. I'll tell you that. You're going to be the... Oh! Huge back elbow. That was a jaw jacker. Tracy Smothers would be happy. Yeah, get the hell out of my ring. Your turn, pal. I'm just going to eliminate all of you. I thought it was going to be fair, but it wasn't. And a huge sit-out powerbomb. One count, of course. Can never get a, more than a one count. Now things are picking up here. Alright, if I can hit this and then that huge epic splash off the top, I'm good to go. One. Two. A two count. I finally got my two. Uh, 
And we'll do that. And then... That combo. Hit him. One, two, three. All right. Okay, not bad, not bad. Once it came down to Ethan and uh, Aaron there, it became a much better match. But, uh... Not a bad... I guess. <laughs> there goes Antoine being eliminated. And then the ending sequence here for Aaron being eliminated. I thought the splash would have put him down the first time, but it didn't. That's the signature move. And that's the aftermath of the splash. So, big debut for Ethan Hacker, eliminating all three per other per other participants. So, not too bad, I guess. Alright, so we're going to exit this, and we're going to go set up the rest of the card now, so you folks will be able to see. Uh, only two or three matches are going to be changed, so nothing major is going to be done. But, you'll have to see it for yourself. So, bring it on up here soon. And we're going to debut some new talent too, like big names, like John Cena, Shawn Michaels maybe, coming up pretty soon here. Alright, so the next match is going to stay uh, Miz and Cody Rhodes versus Primo and Epico for the Southern Tag Titles. Uh, match 3 is going to be changed. We're going to do... Uh, <laughs> trying to think of some stuff that I had wanted to do. Let's do somebody who's not on the card. Oh yeah, we got to do... Uh, Otunga's not on the card, is he? Let's see, hang on one second. Bear with me here. We gotta do, uh... Gotta do Ted DiBiase against, uh... David Otunga for the... Tri-County title. And there it is. Alright, coming up here. And Mr. Otunga. Save. And then, uh, let's see. So, so far we have Miz and Cody Rhodes against Primo and Epico. The Tri-County title, Ted DiBiase defending against David Otunga. Jinder Mahal defending the international title against Justin Gabriel. Beth Phoenix defending the women's title against Nikki Bella. And then this is going to be changed to... R-Truth against Kofi. Yeah. R-Truth against Kofi. Kofi's over here. Alright. Okay, so... We've got the CWA Southern Tag Title Match. We've got the Tri-County Title Match. The International Title Match. The Women's Title Match. R-Truth against Kofi. And for the Southern Title, Wade Barrett versus Sheamus. So we got ourselves a pretty good show here. And, uh... Here we go. Southern Title. Southern Tag Titles. And... Play. Here we go. Of course, Primo and Epico defeated the New Age Outlaws for their number one contendership, who defeated Kofi and R-Truth, but R-Truth turned on Kofi. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens here, if anything gets jacked up here. I fully expect my uh, Primo and Epico to turn on each other eventually. Okay, not bad. Sound decent. Of 
course, Justin Roberts isn't even talking. Not a bad entrance. Okay, and next, of course, now, you know, in real life, WWE, Miz is now a face and Cody's still a heel. And of course, as Primo and Epico does split it up, Primo is kind of a beast on here, so I could easily do some stuff with him. Alright, those are the belts. Alright, here we go. Now, who wins? That's the question. Miz and Cody have not had the belts for very long. Primo and Epico are a beast of a team. But, I really like Miz and Cody Rhodes as the champions. So, let's go with... Aw, shite. Uh, I would like a title change on the pay-per-view. Huh. Nope. Staying with Cody and Miz. Aw, oh, crap. Maybe I should have gone with Primo and Epico. They're pissed. Damn. Let's hope this doesn't glitch like the last Cody and... Whoa! What the hell were you doing? What the hell's going on? Tag matchers are so damn glitchy. Goodness. This is weird. Alrighty. Of course it's going to be a phenomenal main event. It's Wade Barrett against Sheamus. And here we go. Working on the head here. Especially since the Smack Mare driver is like pretty much my favorite move of his. Huge sleeper slam there. Alright, let's make the tag to Cody over here. Oh, we got here double DDT. Yes, huge double DDT. Pin them one, one count. That's okay. Really going to work on uh, Primo here. Knee drop? No, stomp. What's going on here? Knee to the face. Oh, we got blood. One. Nope. And of course, we're going to introduce the AWA World Tag Team titles pretty soon. Whereas, those will be the main belts of the organization. And whoever has the Southern Tag Team Championships will be the number one contenders for the AWA titles. And every now and then, you know, we'll have matches on pay-per-views like the big ones, the big four pay-per-views. Uh, we'll have, like, world ta title matches. These are, like, regional titles as opposed to... Ah, uh, World Heavyweight titles. All of the CWA belts are regional titles, I should say. Whereas compared to, uh, you know, like, the main belts of the promotion, but they're not the world titles. That's why they're the southern titles and everything. So, pretty soon, we're going to do, uh, you know, once the AWA title comes around, we'll do... Uh-oh, this is over. It's over already. One. Nope, not, yeah, maybe. That sucks. I don't want it to be over yet, but it'd be kind of cool if it was. Alright, hang on, I want to see something here. I've never done this before. Haha, <laughs> you jerk. Anyway, so yeah, the AWA World Heavyweight title comes out next month in December. So, we're going to introduce that belt once that comes out. And then, oh crap, I tried to get away, but it didn't work. Um, the AWA title will be introduced in December. The tag titles will be introduced within the next few videos. Uh, the CWA belts are going to be regional titles. Whoever has the CWA belts in the, this universe will be the number one contenders to the AWA world title and tag team titles. 
So say CM Punk wins the AWA world title. Well, right now, Wade Barrett would be the number one contender for the belt. So say when SummerSlam comes around and Wade Barrett still has the belt, he would get a shot at Punk for the AWA world title. And then, right now, since Miz and Cody are the Southern Tag Team Champions, they would defend them against, say, Zack Ryder and Santino. So, that's what we're going to do within the next few videos. And I figured it's something different, like the old AWA. Uh, oh, what the, what the hell? The ref just fell down for no reason. I think he had a stroke. What in the world? Poor Primo, it is not doing so good. Maybe that's it for him? And it is. Quick worker Primo and Epico. Miz and Cody retain their Southern Tag titles and are still the number one contenders to the AWA World Tag Team titles. So and if you have any questions about the the title situation, by all means, put a comment and I'll reply to it. Try to reply to all the comments. But I don't know what the hell Charles Robinson was doing falling down there. It was like I had a heart attack mid-ring. And the crossroads. Primo's done. One, two, and three. And there's Celebration. Let's see how this looks. The belts don't look as cardboardy like they used to. I don't know who holds the belt there, but it's weird. Whoa, it's glitching out bad. He just said Southern Action, Southern Action Tag Team Champions. What the hell? That's weird. Alright, so not awful. Not an awful match. Poor Primo got the crap kicked out of him, but that's alright. He'll come back. So, uh... I will show the decision match for the AWA World Tag Team titles. Uh, it's gonna be in a different arena. Everything. So, it's gonna be pretty cool. Alright, so next match. Tri-County title match. David Otunga versus Ted DiBiase. Uh, this is Ted DiBiase's second title defense of the Tri-County title. And here we go. Still a pretty good entrance. Bell looks really good on him, actually. Alright, skip that. Of course, we all know that uh, Ted beat Otunga in the finals to become the Tri County champion. And let's go. Showing the belt off, alright. I believe we're going to have Ted retain. And then we'll look, take a look at the statistics and everything and see how he's doing as far as ch being champion goes for him. Whoa, both of us missing. Oh, crap. Ah, yeah, you tried to hit me and then you got a knee to the face, bitch. Going for snake eyes already? Yep. Too much red in this match, holy crap. Oh, you reversed it. But I reversed it too. Haha. -ha. Okay, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Snap suplex. Get up. Back elbow there. Arm ringer. And a big knee lift. Back in the corner again. 
Stay guys again. I work on the upper body and the neck because he's gonna hit that dream street eventually. I would hope, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong and Otunga somehow went oh like that. Too late. See, close on my ass and knock me down. Not good. And it didn't even register. That's not, see, it's not even registering. Why am I holding my ankle? I didn't get hit yet in the leg, did I? Too late, my butt. Ah, yeah, you got reversed. Uh oh, net backbreaker. And oh, double knee drop. Pin him. One, one, of course. Big knee strike. Damn right, Otunga got rocked. He's Otunga. Gets his ass beat every day. Oh, except for when he sucker punches me in the jaw like that. You jerk. Big back body drop. Go for the pin. One. Nope, one count. That's okay, though. That's all right. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh! Things are about to get real bad for you, Mr. Otunga. I wonder if I can do it through the table. Let's see. I didn't want to do the million dollar dream. I didn't say to do that. Will he give up on the floor? I wonder if it'll happen. Let's see what happens. Well, he tapped, but it didn't work. Maybe I'll get a count out. Let's see what happens. I knocked his ass out. Uh oh, we might get a count out. I don't want a count out. That's cheap. That's such a cheap move. But I can get a pin, though. Watch. No, he kicked out at the last second. Oh, crap, and then he gave me an STO. <laughs> I think I kind of pissed him off now. Oh, yep, I pissed him off because he's... But, knee strike will put him down. Oh, and that's a gusher. That is a gusher. Which calls for some, uh... Oh, yep, fist drop's got to happen now. Oh, can I rake me though? It's extreme rules. You gotta have lots of blood. Big elbow. I'm not sure if that was to the nose there, Otungi. Man, there is blood everywhere. One, two, kick out again. All right, got ourselves a match here. Huge sit-out spine buster. Oh, what a vagina. He ran out of the ring. Ow. That's alright, I don't mind. What the hell? Get your butt over there. Things are getting progressively more violent between these two. Which is excellent for as far as like building up a feud. Because you want it to get violent. Oh, did you see that look on his face? Like he was terrified. And Dream Street. Oh, a rope break. Come on. But good lord, look at that. He is busted up. I wonder how... I wonder if Duvyasi can... Yes, he can. The turnbuckle comes off. No, he's coming back in. Don't worry, Lawler. I'm about to make his life even more miserable. Uh-oh! No, it backfired! Oh, no! It backfired on me! He clotheslined me and threw me into the friggin' thing. Oh, but you got a spine buster bomb. Oh, and he keeps running like a little vag. 
That's alright, that's alright. Come on, get in the ring. Get up. You're bloody, but you're about to get Dream Street. Look at that look. Oh, he's got a look on his face like he's terrified. And, once again. Let's try it again. One. Two. What the fuck? He kicked out. There's no damn way he kicked out of that. Let's see what happens. Can I school boy him? One, two, three. Okay. So a uh, nice little throw to the, the buckle, the exposed buckle, gets it done. That was a damn good match. Again, these two put on an excellent match with each, with each other. Would not expect it. And here we go. There's the spine buster bomb. Or riding bomb, if you want to get technical. Or Japanese terminology. And this was the Dream Street. That's what I thought had him done, but he kicked out somehow. And there's the schoolboy. That finished the match. And Ted DiBiase makes a second successful title defense of his Tri-County title. Blood all over him. Both hands. Alright, and things, like I said, things get more progressively violent between Otunga and uh, Ted DiBiase here. Next thing would be, I guess, would be a uh, some type of Falls Count Anywhere matches, since he uh, kept running. Since Otunga did, he kept jumping out of the ring, so we'll see what happens there. Maybe a tables match? I love my cage matches, so maybe a cage match. Alright, so now we have an international title match, Jinder Mahal taking on Justin Gabriel. I think this might be the match where... No, oh, I think Ginger's going to retain. And there's the international champion right there, Ginger. Alrighty, so there he comes. Okay, skip that now. And there's Justin Gabriel, the challenger. Skip that. I hate his entrance. Showing off the belt there. Alright, so here we go now. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Ginger. So this is a one on one match. Remember what's at stake here. Gabriel's letting his feet do the talking. Damn, I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, you got reversed. Alright, uh, snap mare and a huge elbow dropped to the back of the head. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nope. Didn't work out for me too well that time. We've done no Extreme Rules matches yet. That's kind of strange. And I didn't even change anything. Maybe it's safe for the main event, I guess. Huge flapjack there. Jinder Mahal! And a uh, nice leg drop to the arm there. I don't know why he kicks to the leg. I don't. That's the that's the only reason right now why I do not put the uh, international title on Gabriel is because his move set sucks. Like I understand he's a high flyer and he has like a lot of hurricanes and everything, but like he has one punch out of his entire arsenal. It's all kicks. His 450 looks weird. I don't know. 
So that's the only reason why, right now, he does not have the international title. But I do like that he's the number one contender, though. Huge shoulder block there. And choking him out there. Gender Mahal! Irish whip and a huge elbow there. Go for the pin. One. Nope, kick out. <clears throat> and I. Uh, well, he Irish whipped me. Oh, that's what you get. Neck breaker. Go for the pin here. One. No. I feel like these matches are too easy. Even though it's on hard, they're still just. I don't know. What the hell? He didn't do anything. Damn thing. Gender. I don't understand this Death Valley driver. Why he has it. I've never seen him use that move before in my life. I gotta change that. But I keep forgetting. And up. And down. That's actually a pretty epic move right there. That looks like devastating. Looks like it kills him. One, two, three. All right. So Jinder Mahal retains the CWA International title. And there he goes up and down. And here's his uh, huge full Nelson slam. Two. Two and three. All right, folks. Well, we're gonna cut this video short right now, and we're gonna go on to the next one. So, because this one's going on 42 minutes now, and I don't want to kill you and make it seem like it's a real long three-hour pay-per-view. So, we'll see you shortly. Uh, video should be up within the next few minutes if, of watching this. Hopefully, if YouTube's not being a dumb. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.